Hey y'all, my name is Mariah and I am the owner of the Etsy shop Owlbit. And in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to transfer an embroidery pattern using um, Sticky Fabri Solvi. Um, so this is a little bit different. I've done a video before on how I trace patterns onto fabric with a water soluble marker. Um, this method is uh, that method I prefer when I'm using light colored fabrics because I can use um, my light box or the window as a light source and you can trace it pretty easily. Um, some people prefer to use the stabilizer method all the time. I typically use it when I'm working with dark colored fabrics because you can't trace it with the marker and it show up. So you can get um, the Fabri-Solvi in a few different forms. It's pretty easy to find, um, you can order it off of Amazon, um, Joann's, stores like that. So I have two different kinds. Um, it's the same material, but it's just in two different forms. So this um, is Fabri-Solvi that comes in a roll. Um, so this is great for smaller designs. Um, you can use your water soluble markers if you want to trace something onto this or if you want to um, just like doodle on it if you're coming up with your own design. Um, yeah, you can um, use that. This other one comes in printable sheets. So this is the same size as printer paper. So you can just put it directly into your printer. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, so on the front, um, it's kind of fabric-y. And then on the back, there's like a plastic, um, it kind of feels like wax paper almost. So I'm gonna show you how to use this. Um, I'm going to be printing out one of my new patterns that I'm working on designing because it is going onto dark fabric. Um, typically, I would probably trace it onto the roll, but I'm going to show you how to do it with the printer um, just for the purpose of this tutorial. So, I'm going to take this paper and I'll show you the next step. Okay, Okay. so this is my printer. Um, I'm going to pull out the tray. See my normal printer paper in here. This is the printable sheet of fabric solvy. So, you want to print your design on the side that feels like fabric. You can see the texture on this. The other side is smooth. So you want your design on this fabric-y part. Um, so I know that my printer, um, I want the fabric-y side down on, um, I want it face down. So I want the plasticky part on top and that's how that design will print um, because it pulls it through like that. So I'm gonna put this in, go back to my computer and print out my design. Okay, so this is my transgender affirmation pattern that I am working on. And I want to print this page that has it split into five horizontal stripes. Um, you can see on the side here, there's multiple pages. So what I'm gonna do um, I'm just going to go to print like normal. Um, I just want to print page five. Um, so here you can see this. I'm going to hit print. And then I'll show you what this looks like. All right, so I'm pulling this off the printer. And there you go. You can see it printed on the fabric -y side. So now we're gonna take this back and I'm going to show you how I put this onto the fabric. Okay, so now I'm trimming this design. I'm gonna cut around the circle. Um, I have this fabric that I'm gonna use. Um, if you've watched my other videos, I like to use linen. Um, I have this hoop. So now that I've trimmed this, I'm going to kind of see, I want it in the center of the fabric um, so that I have enough fabric on the sides so that when I finish the hoop, I can wrap it around. And then basically this is just kind of like a sticker. So 
if I just cut my nails. So this is going to be really hard. Okay. Okay. So this is going to peel apart like this. Peel it off. So like I said, it's basically like a sticker. So I've placed it into the middle of this. It's attached. And then you can go ahead and put your hoop on and it will be just like um, if you had traced the design on. And then I'll do another video showing you how to rinse the stabilizer out.